When creating a CAD CAM prosthesis using monolithic zirconia materials like Bruxa solid zirconia, some accuracy can be lost during the sintering stage when we must give up rigorous control of dimensions to the fickle forces of thermodynamics and the shrinkage that occurs. In order to minimize the errors introduced during sintering, we must be able to predict how the shrinkage will occur. Nature helps us by making the post-sintering density of Bruxa zirconia consistent. Therefore, by taking meticulous volumetric and mass measurements for each pre-sintered block, we can establish the precise pre-sintering density of every Bruxa zirconia blank produced at Glybal Laboratories. With pre-sintering and post-sintering densities in hand, we can label every blank with a unique and highly accurate ratio, known as the enlargement factor. It is worthwhile to note that many manufacturers compromise accuracy to reduce costs by sampling a portion of the production and skip the exhaustive 100% inspection that is performed at Glidewell. A common method of verifying the actual shrinkage during sintering is to mill a shape of simple geometry, such as a cube, from the material being tested. We then have precise points at the vertices that we can measure before sintering and after sintering. We can locate these same points again to determine how they've moved in relation to each other while in the oven. The geometry of natural dentition is much more complex, and we therefore need to test our processes on these shapes if we are to understand and minimize errors. To test the variables of the sintering process on complex structures like a bridge, we first need to be able to measure it. It is extremely difficult to accurately scan and compare the full bridge form and so we need to create our own reference points that can be reliably located and measured both before and after sintering. CAD-CAM provides a simple method for this. Attach a small spherically tipped nodule at distinct points across the arch of the virtual bridge. Once these nodules are milled onto a physical test prosthesis, we can use pre and post sintering, scanning and sophisticated comparison software to determine the effects of a diversity of variables, including bridge support structure, orientation to the heat source in the oven, and the type of zirconia material employed. Armed with this scientific data, we can make more reliable suggestions on what materials to use and what methods to employ to ensure the fewest errors are introduced during the sintering phase of zirconia prosthesis fabrication.